Bonjour. In today's video, we are going to talk about the imperative mood. To give orders, instructions or advice, or to forbid something, we use the imperative in French, like in English. For instance, in an exercise, lis le texte, read the text. In a recipe, couper les légumes, chop the vegetables. Or an adult speaking to children, ne courez pas, don't run. The imperative only exists at three persons, second person singular, and the polite form, first person plural, and second person plural. For example, vas-y, go, allons-y, let's go, allez-y, go. The French imperative works quite like the English one. No personal pronoun is used to express a subject, it is implicit. For instance, vous parlez, you talk, This is the present indicative, but parler, talk, this is the imperative. How to conjugate a verb in the imperative? The forms of the verb in the imperative are often the same as in the present indicative. We simply drop the subject. This is the case for almost all the verbs except for verbs in ER. For instance, tu attends, you are waiting, nous attendons, we are waiting, vous attendez. You are waiting, this is the present indicative. Attends, wait. Attendons, let's wait. Attendez, wait, this is the imperative. For verbs in ER, you simply need to delete the S at the second person singular, but the other persons do not change. For instance, tu manges, you eat. Nous mangeons, we eat. Vous mangez, you eat, this is the present indicative. Mange, mangeons, manger, eat or let's eat, this is the imperative. Ale also drops the yes at the second person singular. For instance, tu vas à l'école, you are going to school, this is the present indicative. Va à l'école, go to school, this is the imperative. However, when the second person singular of verbs in ER or va is followed by a pronoun that starts with a vowel, We keep the S. For example, mange-en, eat some. Vas-y, go, go there. A few verbs have irregular imperative forms. Unsurprisingly, être, soit, soyons, soyez, be, let's be, avoir, et, ayons, ayez, have, let's have. And more surprisingly, savoir, Sach, sachons, sachez, know, let's know, and vouloir mostly exists at the second person plural, veuillez, with the sense of please do. Please note that pouvoir does not exist in the imperative form. In the imperative, the construction of the negative form is as follows, ne, or an apostrophe, plus the verb in the imperative, plus pas. For instance, vient, comme, ne vient pas. Don't come. In the affirmative form, pronominal verbs and verbs with a direct or indirect object pronoun, except for the third person singular or plural, use a disjunctive pronoun. These are alternatives to object pronouns used in some cases, such as after prepositions or with the imperative. They are for je, moi, for tu, toi, for il, lui, for elle, elle, and we use soi as a reflexive pronoun, for nous, nous, for vous, vous, for il, eux, and for elle, elle. The structure is verb in the imperative plus hyphen plus disjunctive pronoun. For instance, lève-toi, get up, or regardez-moi, watch me. However, in the negative form, you need to use the normal pronoun. The structure is ne plus normal pronoun plus verb in the imperative plus pas. For example, ne te lève pas, don't get up. Ne me regardez pas, don't watch me. Travaillez bien, au revoir. Created using Powtoon.